Nintendo. So this is a comparison video between our base and Submarine. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between the two. So please use studio monitors and headphones, but a quick explanation between the two is our base is a plugin where you use it to bring out the subharmonics into higher frequency content so you can hear them on smartphones or other smaller devices that don't have that type of dynamic range. However, Submarine brings out pre-existing subharmonics in something like a kicker or bass, and it allows it to get bigger or to expand it while using the resynthesis system called organic resynthesis, which is something that you see in Torque if you have Torque or if you have Smack Attack, where it doesn't have as much aliasing or anything like that if you, if you was to do it like in your DAW from scratch. So this way you get nice organic bass that you will be able to bring out when you lose stuff like when you record like a bass guitar and you're using a certain setting or if you're compressing a bass guitar or if you're using it on a kick that doesn't have great punch to it so you can actually make it a bigger kick so let's just go ahead and get into it because i know y'all guys are ready so the link is in the description box and this is how they both look like this is our bass over here and this is submarine and this is the track that we're going to use So right now, I have it on the kick drum. Submarine is activated, and I just wanna go ahead and demonstrate how Submarine sounds like, uh, well, how this kick sounds like without Submarine. So let's go ahead and do that. It's off now. So as you can hear, it doesn't have that punch that it had when Submarine was on. So let me go ahead and activate that. Now, if I was to go ahead and turn on our bass, because I do have it configured in here, uh, you'll, you'll notice that you'll hear it, and please use studio monitors and headphones, but it'll be more into the higher frequency content. Go ahead and turn this up a little bit. There we go. Don't freak out because you see a little bit of red here. It's not going to kill anybody. Nobody's dying because it's clipping. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate it without our bass. It's off right now. And now it's on. Let's go ahead and put this in the 60 hertz here. I'm gonna take out the intensity too. So you can actually hear the difference between the two and how they work. Now I'm gonna go and compare our base to Submarine as I already have it set up and then I'll explain some of the things that work in Submarine. I'm not gonna do a full on tutorial. At the top right of the screen, you can see a video from Sean Devine where he further explains how it works. And shout out to Sean Devine. That's my dude. And the link in the description box, just in case you don't want to click on the card. So both plugins are off right now. Now let's turn on our base. Turn it off. Submarine now. Off. Our base. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just roll it the game. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my B setting. There we go. Put it over here at 60 hertz. Off. So 
So as you can see, it's a huge difference, or as you can hear, it's a huge difference between the two. Uh, the main focus of Submarine is using octaves of the subharmonics to gain sub. And you have a frequency range much like our bass, which is right here. And you can justify how much of that frequency you want in the Pacific area. Now uh, that you can, you can hear in certain ranges that it sounds like it's doubling up. And it's, in the way I will look at Submarine is like an octave pedal. And that's why I have my bass guitar too, because you know, in the guitar world, you can use an octave pedal to double up so you can have a deeper sounding guitar of some type. So what you can do is you have the on and off buttons, which I'm gonna demonstrate now uh, within Submarine. And with that, you can adjust right here. So I can add more sub. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and play some bass. Let's get some bass up in this mug. Convert that, convert that into a simpler. All right, I'm gonna play the bass back real quick. Hey. I'm gonna start off with Submarine and show you some of the things that you could do with Submarine on a bass guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off so you can hear the difference. Bypass. Now it's on. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust some of the settings here. I don't, I don't want it to be too loud and I don't want some of the subharmonics in there but I do like the nasty little bass growl it has. Now I'm gonna go into the presets. Of course, the presets are a starting point. They're not where you're just going to be just because they're there. I'm gonna see if there's anything that I can mess with over here. I see bass guitar, so let's go. All right, bass guitar. Let's get set up B going. As you can see, if you have it, I have set up B as well, so it's not as set up as the first one. So I'm gonna use uh, Dave's preset over here. I'm gonna use live bass. Now I'm going to compare it to Submarine. So here's Submarine right here. That's base DI, I'm going to use this one. I'm 
By the way, I did use this on the Ada Waste. I didn't find Submarine to be very flattering to Ada Waste, but somebody else might find it that way. I don't like it personally. I do like our base in this regard, just to bring out the Ada Waste on smaller speakers. So that win goes to our base there. Hey. So let me know in the comment section how you feel about our base versus submarine. Did I help you with this voyage? Did I help you make a decision on it? And does it sound different to you? Those are the things I really want to hear from you guys. And of course, you know, just leave a comment below anyways.